Hello, welcome back to the Level 1 Show. Today is July 27th, and we're doing business and social stories this week. Today. Today, this week. Uh, we do that every week. <laughs> uh, but and of today. Course, when you say stories, it's just some links we want to share with you. Right. right. Or, you know, maybe not even share with you, just some links we feel like talking about. If you want to watch it, you know, no one's trying to influence you here. But if, uh, you know, if YouTube wants to promote this, well, absolutely. <laughs> We're definitely getting new subscribers because there was a couple of comments over the last few weeks that was like, gosh, I really wish I could, you know, just have a list of stories and only click on the ones that I was interested in. If only we provided that every time. There's a, it's called One Tab. There's a One Tab link in the description that will list all of that. <laughs> now, for a while, we've been hearing just the hints of echoes of this. Most of the time when people would call it out, Amazon would be like, nah, nah, nah. We don't want anything to do with your health data. I hate this. Listen, we're not getting into the medical game. Remember Zuckerberg tried that for yeah. a while too. Mm -hmm. He was a little more ham-fisted about it. <laughs> the Amazon people are really good at this kind of thing and they have slithered right in there. <laughs> Amazon is going to buy primary health care provider One Medical for roughly $3.9 billion. All cash too. Not even any stock there. They're just like, yeah, let me write you a check. <laughs> uh... So uh, it takes a while for this article to talk about pill pack and some of the other stuff that Amazon is doing. But Amazon wants to be in the logistics of healthcare delivery. And, you know, you got to wonder, they're looking at what Mark Cuban is doing. Uh -huh. and that's saying, what I thought. And trying to undo it. Yeah. So wearables, that's a big part of it because they're going to know your health data because you're going to be wearing it on your wrist. And like you say, medication, they want to be a big part of that. They're already kind of doing that with their they got like an Amazon prescription thing, right? And now, actual physical brick and mortar doctors, which is what One Medical has, and now Amazon has. And if you are an Amazon warehouse worker, you probably don't have great health insurance. So you'll never get to go to one of those One Medical buildings. <laughs> you'll be going to the free clinic. But another thing that you need to consider is the union. Amazon instructs New York workers do not sign union cards. The Digital notices specifically discourage workers signing union cards. Oh, the ALU may ask you to sign an authorization card or share a QR code to fill out an online authorization card. This is a legally binding document. I like there's nothing else, just this is a legally binding document. Why, legally, I don't think they could say you shouldn't do this. Yeah. Mm. That's as close to a threat as they can get without actually threatening you. Well, the headline is don't sign an ALU card. With the, um, I like the the cheery blue background with the animated truck. Like, <laughs> don't do it. I think it, Engadget might be editorializing a little bit. But if no, going, but the image, though. There's an image of the, the screen at the factory. If they're going to this much trouble to tell you not to do it, doesn't that make you want to do it more? Well, let's see if they ever actually say don't do it. So they didn't say it there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they absolutely did. You know what? With I, that cheery image, too. When I read this, I had JavaScript turned off. Because, uh -huh. you know, it's easier. I didn't see the, the slideshow. Uh -huh. But uh, there it is, huh? There's a smoking gun. <laughs> Let's see what else they said. That's the one we've seen before. <laughs> like, the font's really big on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. <laughs> it's, it's not even subtle. Like, not even a little. Now, do you think that... You know, the lawyers went over that over and over, and they're like, well, we could prove that in court because it's brand new. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of that, so that's clearly like a custom stock image, but like but, they have the the obvious, like this was just done in like Microsoft PowerPoint font. Don't, don't sign a card, but, but it's Gary's birthday. <laughs> 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 like they have time to sign birthday He's cards. He's in the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> he pulled a disc in the warehouse. The robot killed him. <laughs> and he was just laying on the floor for four hours before somebody found him. Now, do you think the person who was tasked with coming up with those slides, are they like diehard pro Amazon? Or are they sitting there like, oh, God, <laughs> I don't want to do this. They're, they're watching this show and just quietly thinking to Weeping. themselves, like, what, what else can I do? Is there something else I can do in this, in this downturn? Can I, maybe I can go to school for cybersecurity. They should have, the only way that that image could have been funnier is if they used Comic Sans. Hmm. Or, you know what, if the truck was, like, crashed. Yeah. That would be a good addition to that. It would have been too much work, though, because they used the same truck in every, every Yeah, it was definitely stock. 
Well, Amazon does have a problem with the unions, but that's not their only problem. The EU is just eating them alive with <laughs> antitrust, and they have a lot of good points that it's hard to argue against. So if you're the Amazon lawyers, what do you do? The answer might be just, you know, cut off some pieces and give them their pound of flesh. <laughs> Amazon executives have discussed ditching Amazon Basics to appease regulators. The tech giant has faced scrutiny from regulators over its in-house brands. This makes me wonder if Amazon Basics is not doing as well as it has done traditionally, considering the reputation for Amazon Basics is like, this is garbage tier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it might have a lot to do with it that people have learned not to <laughs> trust it. Mm -hmm. This meets the requirements of being a AA battery to the extent that uh, they would prevail in court. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, this is not a double-A battery. Oh, I missorted. Oh. I missorted the Apple block. Well, we've kind of already talked about this, but this was the other prong in the... Uh... Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was Amazon. Or, no, it was Apple, wasn't it? No, it was Amazon. Oh, okay. So... Similar uh, thing. Apple's doing the same thing. Apple outlines its health technology strategy in a new report, according to Reuters. Apple sees your health data and helping you with health care being another trillion dollar industry. So they are putting a lot of smart people on this. And of course, the last time they updated that watch, we saw there was a lot of invasive yeah. uh, telemetry coming out of that thing. Well, they actually are spending a lot of money even on the R&D part. They're really concerned about like blood sugar and stuff like that. Can we passively monitor blood sugar through your wrist? Like, Can we outfit your watch with enough sensors that we can figure that out? I think they did, didn't they? Well, they're, they're close. Heart rate, blood pressure, those kind of things. And how can we monetize that? That'll come yeah. later. Oh, well, that's easy. Just insurance companies. Uh -huh. yeah. Like that's that's pre-built. No problem. Big Pharma would love that. <laughs> how awesome is it going to be? It's like you start to feel funny at like 8 o'clock in the morning and then at like 8.47 you get an email and it's like, that's weird. My insurance company has dropped my policy. And then at 9.03 a.m. you have a heart attack. And if you're in China, you try to leave and your front door won't open. <laughs> we laugh, but it's going to happen. <laughs> well, the China thing already did. <laughs> and Apple has some uh, skeletons, some bodies that are buried in the past, and people know about them, and they will not let them go. And they finally had to pay up on this one. Seems like a fairly small number. It is a tiny. Apple reaches a $50 million settlement over de defective Mac keyboards. Probably only about a tenth as much as they put away to deal with this issue because the MacBook keyboards were garbage from multiple generations. One of the big nails in the coffin here was people who reported in the class action that they sent their keyboard back and got another broken keyboard in return. <laughs> Different serial number, but broken in the same way. Oof. Good job. Good job, Apple. Nicely done. And, oh boy, we saw uh, several of these headlines last week. And here uh, they keep coming. Seems like everybody else reported it this week. Apple reads the room and looks to slow hiring in 2023. Apple will freeze the headcount in some parts of his businesses as the company prepares for more challenging times. Yeah, this is happening for all the big companies, not just and Apple. And for the little ones, too. Oh, there's also a Google story, too. Yeah, and... Uh, Microsoft, of course. Microsoft president sees new era, quote unquote, of stagnating labor pool. This is another Reuters article. Now, this isn't so much about the economic downturn. I'm not sure that's a big part of it, but also because the population is dropping. Here's a shocker, people. Supply and demand affects you. So when you stop making more and more humans, like rats, you go up in value. Imagine it. Also, what a, a lot of people, world. you know, <laughs> just died or they retired or... A number of other things like that so labor is more valuable it is more valuable but that doesn't mean that they're going on any hiring sprees don't worry microsoft eliminates open jobs amid economic downturn uh microsoft and google both they had sent offers to people and they hadn't accepted yet and it's like well guess what we're not gonna do that anymore you get the follow-up emails just jk yeah <laughs> oops <laughs> and microsoft uh you know in their microsoft way it's, it's like the scorpion and the frog. You know, yeah. they can't help themselves. They have to do things that are anti-consumer. And then they get called down on it, and they walk it back. Microsoft changes its policy against the sale of open source software in the Microsoft Store. Now, and to be fair to Microsoft, what was happening here was unscrupulous people were taking open source software, changing it slightly, and then put it in, putting it on the uh, Microsoft Store, maybe adding ads to it or monetizing it in some other way. And so that's what Microsoft intended to ban. But if you know if you have 
uh, other open source applications. They didn't intend to ban like those as a first party thing, but kind of as a third party thing because you know if you want to give Krita or something, you know a, a, the, that drawing application or other applications a dollar or two or five, you can through the Microsoft Store. But the problem is that scammers were setting things up and it didn't go to the original developers. Right. I'm sure they didn't consider LibreOffice at all <laughs> during that. Uh, Is that even in their store? Would they allow that? I don't know. That's a good question. Well, of course, uh, you know, we got to go through all the big tech companies. Now it's Google's turn. Google announces a hiring pause for all of the same reasons. Like they literally just copy pasted this article yeah. and search and replace Microsoft <laughs> or Apple with Google. Only for two weeks, but I imagine at the end of the two weeks, they'll probably go back and review yeah. to see if they want to do another two weeks. I'd say it's a hiring freeze until the end of Q3. Yeah, ultimately. easily. And then probably a hiring freeze for Q4. <laughs> We're not in a recession. Now, if you think back to uh, the Google Glass phenomenon, everybody was hyped about it. And then it came out and it seemed like all at once, everybody was like, wait a minute. That means there's a camera everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. I don't know if I want you watching me pee. <laughs> and Google was like, what? Uh, let us rethink this. So now they've rethought it and they've made some changes and they've added some security. But there is a, a little bit of a caveat there. Google begins publicly testing its AR glasses. The camera enabled assistive glasses won't be able to take photos or video, though. Well, hang on. They say no photos or video. But they're using this to train AI. So if they if something happens that they want to train the AI with, guess what they have to do? Have video and audio. At least images. Yeah. So they claim that they will do that if they need to train the AI with it, but they will anonymize it. We all know how effective that is. Yeah. <laughs> but the sub headline here says, won't be able to take photos or video. Well, they wouldn't yeah. lie to me, would they? I think that might be a lie. Because <laughs> it can do that to train the AI. <laughs> and of course, this one should surprise no one, but the economy is falling. Smartphone shipments dropped 9% in Q2 because people are uncertain about things and new phones is at the top of the chopping block for discretionary spending. You don't need a new one every year. Mm -hmm. You never did. And actually, if you can put a new battery in your phone about every year, it feels like new all over again. Imagine if you could go back in time and warn yourself hey instead of buying a new phone every year save money <laughs> <laughs> or just put a battery a better battery in it that's all you got to do <laughs> or you could tell yourself to buy crypto but you would have to be very specific about when to sell it <laughs> these are dates you can buy these are dates you can sell good luck now of course we've seen that uh the big chinese companies they're getting shut out of the world market they're getting crushed it's been very bad for them huawei i mean they've weathered it but they have not done well so if you are someone if you're a company with ties to china you got to start worrying about that which makes me think that maybe ByteDance isn't so hyped to do what the u.s government says they might be trying to think of ways around those sanctions should they come tiktok owner ByteDance explores self-designed chips at china and aims for semiconductor self-sufficiency uh cnbc missed a really important reason for this article which is buy down shares are down 25 percent well everybody's shares are down it's a lot i you gotta think if you are a buy dance investor you gotta be looking at that tiktok ban right if it comes you're done i guess you still got the other markets but the u.s is such a big one and you know the eu is gonna be right behind them if they do it oh yeah i actually i would suspect the eu would go first but since Could they be. tend to be a little harsher most of the time and we have the big uh, chip bill this week. Uh, it's not passed yet, right? But I think we have all but the official green light at this seems, point. It seems like, yeah. Uh, Pelosi got on board, which was funny because she just yeah. invested in NVIDIA. I don't know. Give me some time to think about this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me just fire up my Bloomberg terminal. Well, well, no, she, she didn't do it. Her husband <laughs> yeah, did. She, did. Because, she, yeah. she probably couldn't do that herself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but she figured it out. But there is, uh, the way it is written now, it seems like there is definitely, the government is picking winners and choosers here. Which is, they're not <laughs> supposed to do that. Chip designers warm to U.S. bill despite big benefits to Intel. <laughs> this is from Reuters. AMD was, was not happy yeah. about uh -huh. this. They did pointed out that it was like, hey, that our biggest competitor is basically just getting billions of dollars and we're getting nothing. 
How's we, that fair? We still make a lot of stuff with Global Foundries. Does that count for nothing? Apparently it does. But chip fabs in the U.S., maybe. Yeah, Samsung maybe. also in an 11th hour. We have that article too, I thought, where Samsung showed up and they're like, we need to spend $200 billion in Texas like yesterday. Oh, that was last week. I don't think I included it though. Okay. Yeah, maybe. It, I don't know. I saw it. I didn't the, it. Samsung's really trying to squeak in under the Chips Act to get some money too. Oh, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Free money. Free taxpayer dollars. And when it comes to big tech companies uh, announcing earnings, a, a heavily anticipated one was Netflix. Mm. Because we found out uh, last month that, uh, or three months ago, Netflix wasn't doing well and the forward look was not good. Mm -mm. So this wasn't about like, how many people did you add? This was, did you lose almost everybody? So hilariously, the stock price went up based on this news. Netflix subscriber count in the US and Canada dropped by 1.3 million over the last three months. Guess who got her first notification on Netflix saying- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Netflix adds extra home fee will block usage in other homes if you don't pay. I got this for the first time this week. I was trying to watch an episode of 30 Rock and it was like, two other people are currently using this account. <laughs> what, two other ones? Oh, there's like three or four people <laughs> using this one Netflix account. Now, it's interesting because um, I don't think that this was, they didn't say, uh, Ars Technica must have got it wrong because they said it was only these countries to start out with. I don't know. It, it, we got the notification. It didn't mention anything. I don't think I'd have to look. I took a picture of the, the screen, but I, I don't think it mentioned anything about payment. It just said you can't watch anything right now because other people are using it. Ah, so that's not the same thing. Mm -hmm. They're they're looking at active logins yeah. in different locations. But this goes further than that. This goes into like, you know, it's crazy because, of course, you can travel with Netflix. Right. right? But you're only allowed to travel to another location like once per month or something like that mm. and use it. So, that's that's going to be brutal. Yeah. Well, People who travel for work, screw them. What happens if you switch between your phone and, you know, your home thing? Yeah, what if you eat something bad and you got to sit on the toilet for a while? You got to talk to them. You have to like prove to them that it's not <gasps> Netflix, please. Are you I think most people's reaction is going to be probably what your reaction is going to be. What what are you going to do about it? I'm going to buy 30 Rock and get rid of Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> cancel Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Why would anybody put up with that? I just yeah. I finally finished my media ingest server. It has seven DVD drives, so I can format shift my old footage. <laughs> yeah, but is it? Can you also pull uh, Blu-ray off of that? Well, I've got one Blu-ray drive. Oh, okay. But uh, uh, most of my TV actually came from my my old Myth TV setup that it recorded it off of cable at twelve eighty by seven twenty, and then the commercials were automatically removed by so that's it's and most of that is like 10 years old plus and but the quality is not great well there must have been some pretty strong explicit language in the microsoft mojang acquisition deal because clearly they're able to keep a level of autonomy that you you know microsoft is yeah. like, uh, like angry about how yeah. are we leaving this money on the table what are you talking about <laughs> no nfts in minecraft mojang says Whew. Maybe they, they're reverse moneying on the table with this. Maybe they'll have more money because they come out and say, we're not going to do this. And parents that have been burned by terrible things happening will say, okay, this is great. As Let's far as I know, the only thing Minecraft has done in terms of like monetizing skins was you could get capes. If you'd been to Minecon, you'd get like a special cape on your character that you could enable. But other than that, like even changing your skin is free. Hmm. Have you heard of Blockverse? No. So I thought maybe, Chrissy, you'd be hip to this, but Blockverse is apparently the unofficial Minecraft NFT setup. Oh. Somehow, I don't know if they did like a API type of thing or whatever, but the thing about it is, uh, it was, they ran off of the money. Yeah. Uh, just like the... Oh, it's, it's always a scam. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> it's never good. Oh, man. And uh, speaking of crypto scams... Crypto exchange Zipmax pauses withdrawals, citing circumstances beyond our control. It's a Singapore-based cryptocurrency exchange, and they are suspending business, or they're suspending withdrawals to try to keep business going. Never a good sign. Yeah. You know, we had a lot of people write in from the forum and elsewhere that they were having weird problems, even with Coinbase. I've not tried to get anything out of Coinbase. Probably should. Sketchy. I don't know how true that is. It's time to start hiding your money in jars. 
I don't know. You think we have uh, further to fall in the crypto space? I don't know. It's really weird. It's a really weird situation. It could like I'm kind of torn right now because it could be this could be a perfect time to buy stocks. Or it could be you're going to lose 50 percent more. <laughs> This, this could be, you know, the 1929 stock crash. This could be the peak of that little blip before it got really bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean look, it came back eventually, right? Well, if you want, I mean, if you're thinking about long term on a 10 year horizon. Yeah, probably safe. But you could get it for even cheaper if you time it right. Yeah. Uh, experienced market people will tell you never try to do that. Uh. <laughs> and the heat wave. Oh, we're sweating in here. It's warm. The central air is struggling. Of course, the, the lights and stuff don't help. But, you know, we're, we're getting through it just for you. However, it's not quite as bad here as it is over in Europe and <laughs> yeah. the UK, which is not Europe. Sorry, course. you're suffering. Google and Oracle cloud servers wilt in the UK heat wave. Take down websites. Cloud, <laughs> cloud bursts as the nation hits 40 degrees C. Uh, they also had, like... Uh, runways and stuff were just melting yeah. Roads. roads yeah yeah they actually had to shut things down because the data center just could not handle it i experienced a couple of slowdowns this week it was annoying and uh nvidia also in the cloud world wow well, bet this service took some hits this week right yeah. engagement challenge anybody trying to play games <laughs> on the geforce cloud during the heat wave geforce now rolling out 120 fps cloud gaming to all android smartphones I saw a few people on the forum actually underclocking their graphics card to make it stable again because it was too hot in their house in Europe. Now, they say to all phones, but they give an official supported list. I guess the other ones just might be too crappy to deal with it. Yeah. Notice the Pixel 7 is not on that list. Oh, huh. interesting. I just, I look at that format, like that picture, and it's just like, that just does not look appealing. I, yeah, mobile gaming, I, I, can't, yeah. I can't understand it. I don't get it. Now, uh, Facebook, of course, as we know, it's kind. they're kind of abandoning it. People have lost trust in it. I mean, it still makes billions of dollars, but it's more and more, I think, associated with not cool, not it's trustworthy. Yeah, it's and in fact, we'll have a story later where, like, could you argue that the Facebook name in itself is bad to be compared to? I, I would say yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So what do you do? Well, what has Facebook always done? Find, Chase the youth. Find the strongest competitor and steal their ideas. Now, they used to just buy them. They can't do that anymore. Mm. <laughs> Facebook revamps its home feed to feel more like TikTok. A constant yeah. stream of shit. Yeah. I found a TikTok account that I like. Cheat Sheets, as oh. in S-H-E-E-T-S. -E -E it is cool stuff about Microsoft Excel. <laughs> I bet that has just so many followers on TikTok as well. What a great name, Cheat Sheets. <laughs> Do they have any hot takes on the macro rollback? No. Well, um, Facebook, of course, we've covered some stories. Uh, Brave Browser and then Firefox. There are other services you can get which will just cut all of that tracking garbage out of the URL. Everything that comes after the question mark, in most cases, at least for Facebook, you can clip it right off. You don't need it. It's all for tracking. Doesn't help you at all. And Facebook says, um, totally unrelated to any of that, <laughs> we've decided to change them. Mm. Facebook has started to encrypt links to counter privacy improving URL stripping. Now, Facebook responded quickly to ghacks.net which is impressive they were apparently worried about people misinterpreting this they said no that's not why we're doing it but that's probably why they're doing it yeah, yeah. They're, anytime you send a marketplace link you always have to clip that last part off because it's huge you get this right, massive yeah. link totally just my opinion here but the response from facebook rings as hollow well chris so, so now you will not be able to clip this part of the url because it's integral to getting you to the right page Oh, that kills Marketplace, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, and when we share links from Marketplace, it's like really hilarious. Technically, your account could because they're literally they can build an open graph of how that link was shared, which I'm sure is valuable information to them. There's no way they would be leaving that on the table. Craigslist like just excited right now because they're like, maybe we're going to be relevant again. <laughs> yeah, because you can see who shared and, and uh, you know you can see how it progressed. Do people still, yeah. I don't know a lot of people who use Craigslist anymore. I feel like yeah. Marketplace has taken the secondhand market. I think Craigslist, like, 
you used to be able to find really good deals for stuff on there, but yeah. now it seems like people have these inflated ideas of what their stuff is worth. Yeah, or it's so. just weird junk. I mean, and there's weird junk on Facebook Marketplace, but you can usually find decent things on there too. Or it's a scam. Yeah. So now think about the whole Facebook thing that we just talked about, and that is clearly maliciously bad for the user. So could we not argue that if someone must like someone mistakenly said, "Oh, do you work at Facebook?" I, they should not be surprised if I get angry about that. It's like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I have nothing to do with that. You do not do not compare me with that. Which makes me think that this lawsuit has merit. A company called Meta is suing Meta for naming itself Meta. We covered this originally when it first happened, when the Meta announcement happened. Well, it's come to a lawsuit. So for six months, these people say they have been trying to negotiate with Meta. I like look, uh, we have a problem here, you get, and nothing, crickets, or just stonewall. Like, no, we're not doing anything about it. What are you going to do? God bless them. They went to court. They're going up against a big legal team, but I hope they win. I hope they do too. This is also an art installation company. Now the argument is going to be tough. In yeah, because they're of, different, uh, different business styles and markets. Art installation company. So they don't do the art. They just install the art? Yeah, either probably at like galleries or private homes, that kind of thing. The Verge admitted they'd done business with them before. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess they did a, you know, some sort of conference or something. And yeah, brought yeah. these guys in to do art. Interesting. Well, uh, Facebook also has a problem with fraud because you can create Facebook groups about criminal activity. They don't get taken down, except uh, I think now there will be a sudden renewed interest in possibly getting rid of those. Amazon sues admins from over 10,000 Facebook groups over fake reviews. A lot of these, it sounds like from the article, were fake review brokers where you could sign up and, you know, they would give you five bucks to leave a fake review. And so what better way to connect with people who are willing to do that for five bucks than through Facebook? Well, you can, they can keep coming back, mm -hmm. give them more assignments. <laughs> it's Easy. Like, it's like crowdfunding things. It's like, okay. The plan here in this Facebook group is we're going to Ocean's Eleven some things. So we need some volunteers to create a distraction for the pit boss while we hit the... We're going to give everybody a hundred bucks. And, you know, you'd have a million people wanting to do that immediately. Now think about everything that we're telling you about Facebook. Uh, it's full of criminal activity. It, there's fake accounts galore. <laughs> uh, they're getting sued all over the place. Every The Cambridge Analytica is coming back to haunt them. And so you have to ask yourself... You know, let's say that you're getting back into investing. Maybe you do think there's blood in the streets and it's time to buy. Would you invest in a company that looked at all that and said, let's be like that. Mm. We need some of that in our company. Microsoft is launching a Facebook ripoff inside of Teams. So actually, I went I did, went digging for this. And it is kind of a Facebook ripoff, but it's also kind of a LinkedIn ripoff. I thought it was more they're trying to compete with LinkedIn. I don't think this is something they're trying to do against Facebook because Facebook's always informal. Yeah. LinkedIn is for business, and I think Teams is also for business. Look how awful that is. It seems yeah. also, too, like they're trying to give people something. Like you're in a meeting, and it's like, who is this bozo that's talking? And you can give them something to look at. It's like, oh, turns out they're number, employee number 37 in a Fortune 500. Eh, yeah. Yeah. Whoops. I don't ever put anything. I don't have a profile picture on Teams. I don't have anything. Why would you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, LinkedIn is also this your, your weekly reminder. LinkedIn is... Uh, very bad but i think i mean i won't use it but i could see a lot of people using it from teams this might kill linkedin could be uh snapchat for a long time i've actually sometimes i'll see a snapchat link in some random place and click on it and be like oh right yeah they don't have a website how That's stupid is annoying. that annoying there is no chance i'm ever installing your app i'm sorry i'll just do without I guess Mount, maybe I don't have to, but I'm still not interested. <laughs> Snapchat is finally coming to the web after more than a decade as a mobile app. Why? Well, we've got apps like Signal, which are not really, really stupid for business reasons. Same thing. It deletes after 24 hours, but guess what? People can screenshot and... Oh, but it tells you. Save as. Except not always. Except that'll be easier to do in a web browser than it will be on a mobile phone. Uh. A lot easier. And TikTok, um, one thing about TikTok as it takes over the world is it, even if you don't sign up for it, even if you're not part of that world, you risk being caught up in it as the roving TikTok gangs do things in your area. The roving and, TikTok gangs. You know, gangs. it's like, oh, don't, I don't want to be on your stupid TikTok. Don't film me. What? No, no, it's bad. 
And it's even worse if you're in a historic place that a lot of people want to gather at. Overrun by influencers, historic sites are banning TikTok creators in Nepal. Prominent tourists and religious sites in Nepal are putting up no TikTok signs to keep creators from shooting at the premises. They describe, like, imagine this hell. You know, you're at a nice place like this. A lovely and then they describe how the girls will show up with boom boxes because they have to sync they're gonna dub the music but, but they, they have, have to, to sync, sync up it. their dance moves right and so that like they will do it over and over and over to the same 30 seconds of music to get the perfect take <sighs> that's horrifying they should at least give them a few hundred bucks well I mean, or just them... don't do it in a public place and ruin What's supposed to be like a beautiful historical site for everybody else. You need that backdrop. (laughs) Remember the ones that were doing it in front of forest fires? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's unreal. Uh, It's something. Well, war crimes. How about some war crimes? (laughs) We need to preserve those. It does seem like we've seen some war crimes. Yeah. You know, I've definitely seen some footage where I thought to myself, well, that ain't right. (laughs) (laughs) Things are really getting worse. They shouldn't have done that. But you got to figure out like, you know, you got to get to the bottom of it. You got to search it. There are actually international courts that look into this kind of thing. But can they get these archives? TikTok resists calls to preserve Ukraine content for war crime investigations. That's not a good look. (laughs) Nervous laughter. Now, of course, TikTok has nothing to do with China. Don't worry. But remember that China was the one country that didn't condemn this war. So they might have some influence there. Not great. Good job, Ars Technica. And uh, this was a late one, but, you know, Nancy Pelosi is not the only one. (laughs) Turns out other people have inside information and they just can't keep a lid on it. (laughs) Yes, crypto Twitter, the FBI is reading your tweets. Just because they're disinterested in Nancy Pelosi doesn't mean they're disinterested in you. (laughs) Why is the Twitter bird, what is the red that's attacking it here? I have no idea. It kind of looks like it's an embroidered Twitter, but then when I look at it closely, I think it's pen. I'm not sure what's going on in this stock photo. Interesting. But yeah, so Coinbase was going to list a bunch of new coins. When Coinbase lists a coin, that is a huge shot in the arm for that crypto. And somehow, some friends of this guy found out. Weird That's how that so happens. Weird. And bought exactly all of those crypto cryptos that were about to be listed and made quite a nice little so, chunk of change yeah it's almost like the legislation that's going to affect certain companies huh it's weird it's that's almost like you could make 60 percent returns if you did that consistently huh. Huh. anyway oh we got a lot of nonsense on friday so many nonsense we will see you guys then bye